Hey guys, welcome to our channel, Chill on You Too. Computer hacking is the act of identifying and exploiting the system and network vulnerabilities in order to obtain unauthorized access to those systems. Not all hacking is malicious. White hat hackers may work in cybersecurity or as a software engineer and tester seeking out vulnerabilities in order to fix them. Black hat hackers operate with malicious intent. That said, there's a large gray area populated by political activists and hackers who wear both hats. Hacking costs companies and consumers trillions of dollars every year. According to CP Magazine by 2021, hacking attacks will cost a total of six trillion dollars, up from two trillion losses reported in 2019. The hacker onslaught didn't occur overnight. It took decades of work by now famous hackers to discover critical vulnerabilities and reveal the strategies that established the foundations of the internet and its free-for-all libertarianism. So here's a look at the top eight hackers of all time. Well, guys, without further ado, let's dive in. You guys will be shocked to see the hacker on our number two spot. Number 8. Astra. This hacker differs from others on the list in that it, he has never been publicly identified. However, according to the Daily Mail, some information has been released about Astra. Namely, that he was apprehended by authorities in 2008, and at the time, he was identified as a 50-year-old Greek mathematician. Reportedly, he had been hacking into the Dassault group for almost half a decade. During that time, he stole cutting-edge weapon technology, software, and data, which he then sold to 250 individuals around the world. His hacking cost the Dassault Group 360 million in damages. No one knows why his complete identity has never been revealed. But the word Astra is a Sanskrit word for weapon. Number seven, LulzSec. LulzSec, or Lulz Security, a high-profile black hat hacker group, gained credentials for hacking into Sony, News International, CIA, FBI, Scotland Yard, and several noteworthy accounts. So notorious was the group that when it hacked into News Corporation account, they put across a false report of Rupert Murdoch having passed away. While the group claims to have retired from their vile duties, their motto of the group, laughing at your security since 2011, stays alive. There are assertions of the group having hacked into the websites of the newspapers like The Times and The Sun to post its retirement news. Many, however, claim that this group had taken it upon himself to create awareness about the absence of efficient security against hackers. Number six, Anonymous. Anonymous got its start in 2003 on 4chan message boards in an unnamed forum. The group exhibits little organization and is loosely focused on the concept of social justice. For example, in 2008, the group took issue the Church of Scientology and began disabling their websites, thus negatively impacting their search rankings in Google and overwhelming its fax machines with all black images. In March 2008, a group of Anons marched past Scientology centers around the world wearing the famous Guy Fox mask, as noted by the New Yorker. While the FBI and other law enforcement agencies have tracked down some of the group's more prolific members, the lack of any real hierarchy makes it almost impossible to identify or eliminate Anonymous as a whole. Number 5. Albert Gonzalez According to New York Daily News, Gonzalez, dubbed Soup Nazi, got his start as a troubled pack leader of the computer nerds at his Miami high school. He eventually became active on criminal commerce site ShadowCrew.com and was considered one of its best hackers and moderators. At 22, Gonzalez was arrested in New York for debit card fraud related to stealing data from millions of card accounts. To avoid jail time, he became an informant for the Secret Service, ultimately helping indict dozens of Shadow Crew members. During his time as a paid informant, Gonzalez continued his criminal activities along with a group of accomplices. Gonzalez stole more than 180 million payment card accounts from companies including Office Max, Dave & Buster's, and Boston Market. The New York Times Magazine notes that Gonzalez's 2005 attack on U.S. retailer TJX was the first serial data breach of credit card information. Using a basic SQL injection, this famous hacker and his team created backdoors in several corporate networks, stealing an estimated $256 million from TJX alone. During his sentencing in 2015, the federal persecutors called Gonzalez human victimization unparalleled. Number 4. Adrian Lamo Lamo was born in Boston, Massachusetts in 1981. In the mid-1990s, he volunteered for Planet Out, a public media company that catered to the LGBTQ community. Lamo first gained notoriety online in the early 2000s for hacking companies like Yahoo and AOL, as well as the New York Times. 
In 2004, after accepting a plea bargain, Lamo was sentenced for hacking the newspaper, where he had added his name to an internal list of opt writers and racked up $300,000 in charges using the organization's subscription to LexisNexis, a pay-per-use search tool. He was also known for tipping U.S. government authorities about the actions of whistleblower Chelsea Manning, who was later sentenced to 35 years in prison for providing WikiLeaks with 750,000 classified military cables. Number 3. Jensen, James, and Shetta Jeans and James and Shetta had no interest in hacking systems for credit card data or crashing networks to deliver social justice. Instead, and Shetta was curious about the use of bots, software-based robots that can infect and ultimately control computer systems. Using a series of large-scale botnets, he was able to compromise more than 400,000 computers in 2005. According to Ars Technica, he then rented these machines out to advertising companies and was also paid to directly install bots or adware on specific systems. And Shetta was sentenced to 50 57 months in prison. This was the first time a hacker was sent to jail for the use of botnet technology. Number 2. Jonathan James The first juvenile to be imprisoned for a cyber crime at the age of 16, Jonathan James, or better known as Conrad, hacked into the Defense Threat Reduction Agency for the U.S. Department. Further, he installed a sniper that scrutinized the messages passed on between the DTRA employees. Not only did he keep a check on these messages being passed around, in the process he collected the passwords and usernames and other such vital details of the employees, and further, even stole essential software. All this cost NASA to shut down its system and to pay from its pocket $41,000. However, this story has a bitter end, as Jonathan committed suicide in 2008. Number 1. Kevin Mitnick a seminal figure in American hacking, Kevin Mitnick got his start as a teen. In 1981, he was charged with stealing computer manuals from Pacific Bell. In 1982, he hacked the North American Defense Command, NORAD, an achievement that inspired the 1983 film War Games. In 1989, he hacked Digital Equipment Corporation's DEC network and made copies of their software. Because DEC was a leading computer manufacturer at the time, this act put Mitnick on the map. He was later arrested, convicted, and sent to prison. During his conditional release, he hacked Pacific Bell's voicemail systems. Throughout his hacking career, Mitnick never exploited the access and data he obtained. It's widely believed that he once obtained full control of Pacific Bell's network simply to prove it could be done. A warrant was issued for his arrest for the Pacific Bell incident, but Mitnick fled and lived in hiding for more than two years. When caught, he served time in prison for multiple counts of wire fraud and computer fraud. All right, guys, that's the end of this video, but wait, we got a bonus. Have you guys heard the name George Hotz? While George Hotz may be a renowned jailbreak artist, he is best known for being named as the primary reason for the April 2011 PlayStation breach. As one of the first hackers to jailbreak the Sony PlayStation 3, Hotz found himself in the middle of a very mean, public and messy court battle with Sony, perhaps because of his public release of his jailbreaking methods. In retaliation, the hacker group Anonymous attacked Sony in what has been the most costly security breach of all time. Hotz denied any responsibility for the attacks and said, running homebrew and exploring security on your devices is cool. Hacking into someone else's servers and stealing databases of user info is not cool. Thanks for tuning in. We hope you really enjoy the top eight great hackers in the world. But before you go, subscribe, like, and share this video. And don't forget, hit that bell icon to check out more interesting videos made just for you.